In the 17th century, in the small city of Delft in the Netherlands, a famous cloth merchant got obsessed with seeing the details of his finest threads. He created a machine composed of two lenses that allowed him to see his wares in detail. To his surprise, he detected some small bugs invisible to the human eye and called them animalcules. Today, Anton von Leeuwenhoek is still known as the father of microbiology and the inventor of microscopy, a tool that revolutionized science, giving us access to an infinite world of smaller and smaller proportions, the microcosm. If there is a flower that took advantage of microscopy, it is the limonium. Limonium comes from a Greek ancient word that means meadow. Normally these plants are adapted to coastal regions. It is also commonly known as sea mist because of its similarity to the mist that is created in the sea. This is why limonium has been known to tolerate high levels of salt and it is used to clean salty lands. The principal desafío del mejoramiento eh, genético del limonium se basa en su estructura y su biología floral. Tienen un problema, no se puede autopolinizar debido a que tienen una estructura de estigmas diferente y una estructura de polen diferente. You have a cob stigma type in the shape of a corn cob and you also have a papillated stigma. The pollen has a certain shape and the stigma has a certain shape. So it's kind of a key lock system. The morphotype A pollen will not fit to its own stigma. It has to go to the opposite morphotype to enable fertilization. El tipo de pollen B va a encajar en el tipo de estigma tipo mazorca. Esta estructura tiene que encajar como un rompecabezas para poder hacer la fecundación. Gracias al microscopio nosotros podemos revisar estas pequeñas estructuras microscópicas para obtener unos mejores cruzamientos y tener unas mucho mejores variedades. Con todos esos avances, hemos logrado eh, lanzar al mercado nuevas variedades que tienen un olor reducido, un número mayor de tallos por planta y una nueva gama de colores amarillos, terracotas y rosados. After a detailed selection, the flowers will go out to the markets in the United States, Japan, Russia o China. We work with different types of limoniums. We have limonium sinensis, sinuatiums, and hybrids. For example, we have behind me this limonium hybrid called the skylight. This skylight, we have bred it so that it has less odor than the traditional limoniums in the market, and it has a beautiful lavender color. We humans are usually amazed at the infinity of the macrocosmos, but we tend to forget that the infinity is also towards the small scale. Microcosmos is also infinite, and who knows what we'll be able to discover in the future.